Hey, hey developers, let's imagine you need to start a new view project. How do you do it? Did you know there are several starter templates for view two and view three that can make the process of starting a new view app that much easier? So you can get all your favorite plugins, your auto importing of components, Pinya, your state management all in one by using one of these starter templates. So let's take a look at some of the most popular ones and ones that you may want to use on your next app. Hey, and as always, if you're new here, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also a big fan of Vue React. Make sure you click that like button and also leave a comment comment below what sort of videos you want to see in the future. I am looking to do some ones on Web3 and a few other ones that you might be interested in in Vue 2 and Svelte. So leave a comment and yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and begin. I just want to take a moment and thank the Vue.js Nation Conference, which is happening on the 26th and 27th of January. It's organized by Vue School. So it's gonna be the perfect chance for you to elevate your Vue.js knowledge. It's 100% for free and online. And what's really awesome is they have a whole bunch of amazing speakers. Evan Yu will be there. He's going to be talking about the first time about the new Vue 3 docs and what you can expect from them in the new release in 2022. The Nux.js core team members will be there and they'll be talking about Nux 3, which I'm really excited about. I wanna know more and more about it. And you're also just a whole bunch of really amazing creators and Developers will be there, so make sure you check it out. I'll put a link in the description, viewjsnation.com. Make sure you attend the conference. Like I said, it's 100% free. It's a no-brainer. Check it out. So let's talk about what a starter template is. Imagine that you have an application that has all your favorite libraries in it. It might even have some components. It might even have some boilerplate code in there ready for you to download and then start creating your app from. Instead of having to go and spend hours trying to find all these different libraries, install them, reading the documentation, configuring them, and not really knowing the best practices, the starter templates wrap that all into usually a repository on GitHub that you can just download and use for your enjoyment. The only caveat I would say is that you have to be careful. If you're not gonna use everything in the starter template or you don't know everything that's in it, then it may not be the best choice. It will add to the bundle size and may add it to the complexity of the app. So you have to kind of be careful when you use these, but I would say it's not a bad choice, especially if you want to get up and running quick and you want to use some of the best practices. So let's take a look at some of the starter templates that I've seen and the ones I would recommend. So I've talked about this before. If you want to, I'll put a link here. You can click on it. This is Vitesse. It's an amazing starter template. I think it's probably one of the best for Vue 3. So it has a whole bunch of plugins that you should uh, look into, like the composition, API. well, it uses the composition API. It has this file-based router plugin. It has this really cool layout system, it has this auto importing. It supports Windy, C it comes with Windy CSS, Markdown, static site generation, progressive web app, some internationalization. So it has all these in one place. And uh, I've used it in a couple different projects. It's just really nice to be able to download. It's all in one place. It makes a lot of sense. So this would be my number one starter template. I think you should check out, especially if you're using a Vue 3 project. The second one, and I was just told about this recently when I was doing research for this video and I was trying it out, it looked pretty cool. It's called Vitsum. It's also another Vue 3 starter template. It has Windy CSS, has Google fonts, has some more icons. It uses something called Vue Use, which has some composition API has internationalization, auto import components. It's kind of like a smaller, lighter version of Vitesse, I would say. So this one's definitely worth checking out. I'll make sure I put a link to all these different starter templates in the description below so you can check them out yourself. And it has a really cool logo. So, you know, check it out. This is the oldie but goodie. I've mentioned this in several different videos. It's the Vue 3 Enterprise Boilerplate. Originally created by Chris Fritz and when he left, I believe Ben Hong took it over. And it really, it really is for larger view applications and has really great documentation. They mentioned right on the GitHub has thorough documentation, has this guaranteed consistencies, has this opinionated linting, SSS markdown, has really great tests in it. And it's really good for speedy t uh, development because it has these generators, has these aliases, has these global base components. So altogether, it's a really solid way to create a view app, especially if you're going to be creating a very large enterprise type app. The only downside is I was trying to see if they had been upgraded this for Vue 3 and doesn't look like they have. So there are other community driven Vue enterprise boilerplate projects out there. I looked at a few of them. I wasn't, I didn't have enough time to really dive into them. 
I would say if you're using Vue 2, definitely go for Vue Enterprise boilerplate. If you're in the Vue 3 side, I would do some more research if you're looking for those features. I didn't see really any GitHub repository that stood out. If you know of one, please link, tell me in the comments, put a link in, and I will uh, I'll include in the description. But for right now, I didn't see anything I loved for Vue 3. But Vue 2, I would definitely recommend this. Another Vue 2 one, I've meant, I, when I was doing research for this video, I kept seeing this coming up and up uh, over and over again because a lot of people like Lectron and you know it's not a bad way to go. This is the Lectron Vue template. It's easier way of setting up Electron apps to the view. Has a bunch of detailed documentation. It looks like it has plugins has plugins for Axios, Vue Electron, Vue Router. So if you're creating trying to create Electron app, this is with Vue 2, it's not a bad way to go. It has some handy NPM scripts. I did look through the GitHub issues and some people were complaining that they had that the the whole repository had not been updated in a while. So that is one thing to be cautious about, but it looks like people are still using it. It still has thousands and thousands of stars in GitHub, but I would say that maybe the development of this has slowed down. And I did try to look for a Vue 3 version. I didn't see any, So, but for Vue 2, I still think this is a solid way to go. So this is a neat one. It's called Vuesion. It's kind of Vue 2 plus Nuxt. It helps teams build faster with modern best practices is what they say on their GitHub. It has Cypress and end and end features, ESLint, Docker file support, which is really cool. I haven't seen too many starter templates that have Storybook, which I think Storybook, I've seen much more common in the React ecosystem. I haven't seen too many view companies use Storybook, but it's a way to illustrate or create testing for components. It has AnimeJS, so that's really cool. It has some animation, Figma UI kit, an internationalization port. View Apollo, which is really cool. So some GraphQL stuff in there, progressive web apps. So I would, uh, I, I, I think this is neat. It's kind of like, kind of combines a little bit of Nuxt and Vue 2. Uh, it's really interesting, and I would definitely check it out. So that's the top five kind of starter templates. There's a lot, a lot out there, and I didn't have time to like deep dive into every single one of them. If you know of one that you like to include, leave a comment below. Um, I might even create like a GitHub repository of some of these starter templates. I didn't see too many of them listed in like View Awesome or a few other websites. If you really want kind of the full breadth of the Vue ecosystem, Nuxt and Nuxt3, these aren't really starter templates, but they're just different ways of creating Vue apps. I think they're worth mentioning. Uh, Nuxt3 is out already. It supports Vue3. I did a video on it, so if you guys are interested, uh, I'll include a link to it. There's also Vue CLI, of course, Vue 2 and Vue 3. And people keep telling me I should do more Quasar videos. I did a Quasar video about two years ago and it had some really cool uh, built-in features. It has its own CLI. It can generate its own app. They actually support Vue 3. I really think I should get into it. I don't know. I've kind of been on the fence. Let me know if you have used it and what you think about it. I think that'd be really cool too. So let's go. Yeah, I think this is really cool time to get into Vue. Into Vue if this is if you're brand new to Vue and you've made it all the way end, thank you. I appreciate it. But I think there's so many cool things coming out in the Vue ecosystem. There's these starter templates. I think the Vue ecosystem is just doing really awesome right now. So leave a comment below if you agree or disagree. Let me know. Take care.